So when I do consultations, like with people like outside the United States, how can they access treatment? Like if they need treatment for it, how do you how do you go about that? Well, well, number one is uh, most of what we do today is all consultations online from from five minutes away or fifty thousand. Uh, uh, 5,000 uh, miles away or more around the globe. And so number one, you and I are talking, you could be in Australia or Kenya or, or in Syracuse. I don't know that, but I'm going to give you advice that number one, you may simply get pregnant without coming to see me ever. Wow. Number two is um, I'll give you advice that, you know, you could do some testing, a sperm count, HSG, laparoscopy, uh, do some blood work, to look at your hormone levels, your immunologic levels, uh, also your metabolic and hematologic levels. And then uh, some of those things may help you get pregnant in and of themselves. We do sell some supplements, molecular fertility and nutritional solutions that may help some people depending on how good they are at getting to a mostly animal-based and eating the organ meats. Mm -hmm. Very important, but... Uh, we have people where we'll help work with your clinicians locally, and then you'll fly to one of our centers for IVF or surgery. All these things are possible. But the question is, what causes disease? Infertility. Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Nafola. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please 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 subscribe uh, but if you've already subscribed to my channel i just want to say thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you for sharing my videos and thank you for even putting a comment on my video you made it i made it you made it we both made it such a pleasure How you are know you? like i'm good you know what happened like i was watching uh, a youtube video you did a ted talk at an Odaga community college I didn't know you were such a big deal. Like, you're a big oh, deal. No, no, no. Yes, God you are. God bless you for being so kind. <laughs> Very kind. Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're all in this God- beautiful journey together and we're all doing the very best we can and i'm blessed to mm -hmm. have been uh, offered an opportunity to share some ideas that i think are a little challenging to the mainstream the world of health and wellness is now taken over by people like yourself which i think is critical because we need to make the changes because we've all been suffering Mm -hmm. And we need to figure out why. And that's one of the things that I've learned that I can do so much more by YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, mm -hmm. and, and other modalities to share the idea of health and wellness through books and, 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 uh, and blogging like we're doing here today. So I was uh, reading about, you know, your ketogenic diet. You know, it's very interesting. Like when I was watching the TED Talk, you talked about, you know, like your body doesn't need carbohydrates. So that's what like caught my attention at first. I'm like, wait, wait a minute. You know, oh, wow. Interesting. He it like it is so different. And so what we learn at our uh, uh, medical communities, at the universities, at hospitals and medical schools and nursing schools is an opposite idea. Mm -hmm. and we're all getting sicker, aren't we? Yes, we are. Younger so we are. and younger and younger. Mm -hmm. Sicker mm -hmm. and sicker. And infertility is on the rise all around the globe. And mm -hmm. the question is, why? And mm -hmm. I believe our lifestyles are led in the wrong direction. We are lions, not pigs, cows, and sheep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we've been directed to eat and live like a pig, cow, and sheep, and yet we're lions. So we've lost the strength mm -hmm. to speak out, to ask questions, and to drive the direction of the lives we really all want to live. And ultimately, I believe we're all out of Africa. Mm -hmm. And in Africa, we were hunters, mm -hmm. we were tribal, and we were strong. But exactly. we became domesticated enslaved, imprisoned, uh, conscripted to the armies, and made into peasants. But we are all lions, and lions lead, and we need to learn to get back to who we are. Oh, wow, amazing. Uh, so, you know, like, 
in my culture, fertility is a big thing. Like people get married to have children. Here, you know, it's for companionship. In Africa, if you don't have uh, children, either your husband will marry another wife, will leave you, or when they die, then 20 kids show up from different places because kids are a big deal over there. And there's a lot of infertility right now. And it means like a lot of marriages are breaking, you know, because failure to have kids. And I was like, you know, if you can, you know, teach something that can be helpful uh, to my community, that would be really, really nice. I'm so glad you invited me to share my ideas, which I've learned from people like yourself and realizing that the modern world is is got some things wrong. You're right. We're we're marrying for companionship, but ultimately the real reason for relationship is children. That's mm-hmm. the foundation of everything. So mm-hmm. when it's not happening naturally, something is wrong. So so many young people think they're healthy. They've got good looking bodies. They eat healthy. They mm-hmm. feel good, mm-hmm. yet they're not able to reproduce naturally. So that means there's something wrong. And one of the first things to go is either sexual dysfunction, sperm Mm -hmm. dysfunction, Mm -hmm. menstrual dysfunction, Mm -hmm. pelvic pain, uterine fibroids, and endometriosis. Mm -hmm. And along with that comes lack of getting pregnant, miscarriages, and many premature babies that have other lifelong problems Mm -hmm. that are related to the wrong lifestyle for us human beings. So what are the major, like, you know, causes of infertility? What causes that? If you look at my book on keto uh, Mm -hmm. lifestyle, which Mm -hmm. is essentially for fertility and more, Mm -hmm. I talk about five causes of all disease and being infertile is a disease. In Mm -hmm. my opinion, it's one of the leading diseases Uh, in the globe. And so the leading cause is a sugar-based diet. Mm -hmm. So sugars are damaging. Would you agree? Yep. A hundred percent. Diabetes, you know, all these bad things, you know. Diabetes, hypertension, cancer, stroke, menstrual irregularity, endometriosis, uterine fibroids, pelvic pain, and infertility of some sort, whether it's the male factor or the FEMA factor, but Mm -hmm. sugars come from plants. Mm -hmm. Which plants do not have sugar? They all do. Mm -hmm. Lettuce, carrots, onions, garlic, Mm -hmm. asparagus, potatoes, tomatoes, lettuce, uh, kale, all Mm -hmm. plants are made from sunlight and carbon dioxide, which is a long chain carbon particle, which we call a carbohydrate or a sugar. Mm -hmm. The majority of sugars are not sweet, but you and I have been taught that eating lots of fruits and vegetables are good for us, correct? Correct. In the hospital, what do we feed our patients? Fruits and vegetables, seeds and nuts, Mm -hmm. and lean meat, maybe, and uh, non-fat milk which turns out to be all sugar and sugar is not good for us in any significance or frequency. You can eat some sugars from time to time, but around the globe, uh, it began with the domestication of humans thousands of years ago, which fed the majority of humans, the masses, the peasants, they fed them grass and grains fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Well, now in the modern world, we're all taught that eating red meat is bad for us. So I believe sugar is the leading cause of glycation, which damages your reproductive organs. And then plants also contain estrogens and progesterones and testosterone when you eat them. Well, that's what the birth control pill and the abortion pill are made from. Wow. And so when you eat a high plant-based diet, the, the, the carbohydrates and the complex carbs digest in your bowels, right? Your small intestines. Mm-hmm. Well, that small intestines is full of sugar and the microbes, the bacteria and the yeast in your bowels really love sugar. Exactly. What does sugar and bacteria and yeast make? Alcohol. 
Okay. So is alcohol good for your reproductive organs? No, it's not. It's not. Would it be good for your eggs or sperm or embryos? Nope. nope. And it's not. And so when when carbohydrates or sugars ferment, they make alcohol, aldehydes, heat, and gas. Ever had bloating? And then they tell you, you know, take probiotics, you know, the good bacteria. Well, they tell you to take probiotics, but probiotics are bacteria and yeast. Would you put bacteria and yeast in an open wound? No, you will not. <laughs> would you <laughs> rub bacteria and yeast? Nope. Would, would you rub it in your eyes? No. Nope. Bacteria and yeast in your mouth, in your gums, what does that cause? Gingivitis, you have all this dental problems. Gingivitis, tooth decay, and bad breath. So why would you why would you swallow bacteria and yeast? Because we've been taught something that's based on the same masters that created imprisonment, slavery, peasantry, and and all of the controlling of the world is by the few that have given us a narrative that eating a certain diet, especially don't eat red meat, you might be, you, you're, it's not good for you, right? But yet we're getting more cancer and disease. Remember the bowels, think about the bowels, the pelvis, right? But between the diaphragm and the, and the rectum, right? Uh -huh. uh, what's in that? It's the liver, the bowels, the uterus, the tubes, the ovaries, the prostate, right? Uh -huh. So endometriosis, uterine fibroids, ovarian cysts, pelvic scar tissue, tubal damage. They blame it on sexually transmitted diseases. But what if it's not a sexually transmitted disease? What if simply the diet you've been told is good for you is deadly for you? Wow. This is radical, isn't it? It is. So you as a fertility doctor, have you have you noticed like if a patient changes the diet, like chances of them having or you know, conceiving all, all the time. And if you begin to look at the keto and the carnivore world, people are healing so many diseases. I get people getting pregnant left and right. 44 and 45 year olds suffered for years, get pregnant, deliver naturally. Wow. Now, what do you have to lose? Does it make sense that eating plants are good for us if plants are sugar and sugar is bad for us? No. Are we lions? Are we lions or sheep? We are lions, I think. <laughs> we are lions. What do lions eat? Yeah. So you, you see, we need to question authority. We need to question the leaders. We need to question all of us question me. Don't accept what I say, mm -hmm. but you can argue with me and say, well, what about this and this and this? None of that matters. If you're suffering and you go carnivore, I will bet you a billion dollars. If you do a fatty meat diet and nothing else, you will feel better in one week. In one month, you will shine and feel spectacular. And people will go like, wow, you look amazing. What's going on? Um, no exercise required. No supplements, no special anything else. So have you yeah. actually had like studies that shown that actual the ketogenic diet um, like works? Like, do you have any studies out there? Okay. Um, so what is the problem with modern science? Us to see a study, correct? Correct. How do you get a study funded and published? You have to follow the guidelines Okay, you have to submit a protocol, right? Mm -hmm. A grant application. And, and so you're looking for something that's not so easy to find, but it's hard to believe that I'm true, correct? I believe you because there's a community in Kenya. It's called the Maasai community. They survive with meat and milk and whatever, and they live the longest. And they don't have any diseases. They don't go to the house. Maasai mm -hmm. eat the meat, eat the blood, mm -hmm. and eat the raw milk. OK, they don't take it to the pasteurization plant. Mm -mm. OK, so so the ancient tribal peoples of the world before domestication. OK, mm -hmm. we were hunters. OK, so go to your backyard in Syracuse or wherever you are in this world and just start eating the wild plants. You'll be dead. The wild plants are live organisms. 
symptoms that don't, they don't want you eating them. Okay. So now you asked about research, data, science. Okay. So all I can tell you is you begin to look at the blogs on people that do carnivore. It's a game changer, but you can argue and not believe it, but there's only one experiment that's required in this world. What is it? It's the one on yourself. If what you're doing isn't working, why do you keep doing it? Why do you keep believing the masters of medicine who control the money? No disrespect to anyone doing this. I'm, I'm a doctor. But what I've learned is, is, you know, there's people are quick to chastise, right? Mm -hmm. They're quick to, they're quick to uh, have an opinion that says you don't know what you're talking about. But, Maybe these ideas are something that each of us should step back and say, you know what? Maybe, I don't know. It sounds crazy, Kilts. And I didn't invent this myself. Mm -hmm. I just, I just talked to people around the globe. I've listened to people that did this. That's how I started doing it. I'm 66, almost 67. I started this at 55. I don't always eat only meat, but almost always only meat. Mm -hmm. I call it the baby's way. It's called the baby's way. Bacon <laughs> and eggs. <laughs> butter, beef, my ice cream and salt, but you don't need the butter, the, the ice cream, but you should eat the meat and the salt. That's in my yeah. opinion. And, <laughs> and so look at our blogs. We have so many people doing it. Now, do vegans, vegetarians, and Mediterraneans get pregnant babies? Sure they do. I mean, people who use hair and cocaine, marijuana, nicotine, and alcohol get pregnant and babies, don't they? Do you recommend those things? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. But we're easily addicted to carbohydrates. Do you know that, right? Yep. Polar bears, they will not reproduce unless they're fat. So the whole intention of being skinny is deadly, number one. But people are getting super obese because what are they eating? Carbohydrates. They carbohydrates. Have. Carbohydrates. Are carbohydrates ever required in the human diet? That's what we've been taught to believe that you need. Never. You, so, so <laughs> look at, see, I always go back to slavery, imprisonment, peasants and soldiers. Okay. They're all controlled by some master that fed the masses that wanted, they want to control carbohydrates because they're highly addictive. Breads, pastas, uh, seeds and nuts and alcohol. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so if you feed the lion those things, they will become domesticated cats and dogs. But if you feed the lion ribeye steak, they will be strong. And so we all love carbohydrates because they make us feel good. Mm -hmm. But you didn't have access to them very often in our ancient environment. You had to work at getting that wild beast. And you had to wait a long time to get a carbohydrate. They weren't very prevalent. And so our drive to cause the disease, I think, is all secondary to too many carbs, not enough fat. We don't eat fat. And remember, the plants not only contain the chemicals and the sugars, the lectins, the oxalates, the phytates, the, the antigens that distribute all over our body, they cause disease, cancers, mm -hmm. eczema, psoriasis, arthritis, colon cancer, uh, IBS, Crohn's, all of these things are caused first by damage in the gut and then damage intravascularly and then damage in every organ system or our, our body. And even to the point where we're anxious, we're sad, we're mad, we're criminals, we're, we're depressive, we're suicidal. Those are psychological dysfunctions Due to eating what? Carbohydrates, plants. Just say plants mm -hmm. because heroin, cocaine, marijuana, nicotine, caffeine come from plants. Yeah. Which are the drugs that mm -hmm. you and I have been controlled by, right? You shouldn't drink coffee. You shouldn't drink tea. You shouldn't drink alcohol. You shouldn't smoke cigarettes, but they're highly addictive. And that's why they're sold to us. And the science is there. Look at my blog, drkilts.com. But if you're waiting for the paper that's going to say, well, these vegans are healthy, these vegetarians are healthy, these Mediterraneans are healthy, these carnivores are healthy. Everyone can be healthy. 
But the question is, what causes disease? Infertility. Plant-based, low animal fat diet, eating like a pig cow and a sheep, three to six meals a day. I say eat one meal a day or less. Have the strength to say no to what the master out there is trying to tell you. You become your own master and realize that we're lions. Ultimately, we're, we've been duped for thousands of years. And it's time to take our strength back. You don't have to fight against anything. You must take the strength within. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. I think the philosophy of love and forgiveness and kindness and gratitude and generosity is critical around the globe. Very critical. Again, I'm 66, almost 67. At 55, I went carnivore. My arthritis, psoriasis, kidney stones, migraines, bowel bleeding, hemorrhoids, gone. Okay? I was sick wow. since a child. Right now, I still have some issues that come up. We're all going to die of something. But I've never felt better in my life. And so it's your choice individually what you're going to put in your mind and your mouth and what you're going to marinate your body in. You're in nursing. I'm in medicine. There are certain rules that we live by, right? But I'm a scientist. I read everything. My beautiful sister died at 52 of diabetes. My best friend from medical school, Dave Kilmer, died of cancer at 52. When they died, my question was why? And now I know. A plant-based diet is deadly for every disease we suffer from, including reproductive dysfunction, male factor, sexual dysfunction, and just we're all depressed, anxious, fearful, worried. Yeah. Why? We're gladiators. We're lions. <laughs> so when you get patients like, you know, suffering from infertility, so from my understanding, you take a holistic approach to like, you know, you have the medical component and then you have the diet. You have, do you have any other like, you know, yogurt? Okay. So if you look at our, our, our family building guide, CNY Fertility Family Building Guide, listen, mm -hmm. it's not just about diet. It's just one component, right? Plenty of people have babies as vegan, vegetarians, Mediterraneans, and carnivores. We're here to help everyone. But number one, you got to have the right mindset. The mind must be set at the direction of the goal, and you must believe it as if it is. That's where faith comes in. Faith is the knowing of the thing you dream about and desire, but you see it. You're not walking around like, oh, my God, this is never going to happen. You're like, God's got this. Correct. God's got this. Now, whether you believe in God out there or in here or wherever it is, it's the power of positive thinking. Yeah. Yo, we recommend yoga, meditation, prayer, uh, keto, carnivore, uh, slow it down, cool it down. Get off the treadmill. Like, like what <laughs> animal is running, running, running to get pregnant? <laughs> not, not lions. No, 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 no. So, so yeah. we we will we do a lot of video. We do a lot of phone consultations around the globe, including Nigeria, uh, wow. Africa, Asia, Europe. Um, all over the globe, uh, America is all over. And what's your story? How young are you? Uh, how long have you been trying? Do you have any children, any pregnancy, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Any other medical conditions, any surgeries, any allergies? And then what is your diet? What is your lifestyle, right? W d diets are dead, by the way. Uh, the proper human diet, my good friend Ken Berry likes to use that. I say, what is the nutritional way for a lion. And, and then what are your life? So what do you like to read? What are you listening to? What are you watching? What are you, what are you sort of embracing in your life? Because what we all need to do is have the strength that whatever we have in life is given to us by God. And we have faith in the way, but, but remember the words of the thoughts of what is, is created in our own minds. God's got this. Amen. And and that's really, amen is right. Amen. Around the globe, right? So when I do consultations, like with people like outside United States, 
how are they access how can they access treatment like if they need treatment for it how do you how do you go about that well well number one is uh, most of what we do today is all consultations online from from five minutes away or fifty thousand uh uh five thousand uh miles away or more around the globe and so number one you and i are talking you could be in australia or kenya or or in syracuse i don't know that but i'm going to give you advice that number one you may simply get pregnant without coming to see me ever wow number two is um, i'll give you advice that you know you could do some testing a sperm count hsg laparoscopy uh do some blood work to look at your hormone levels, your immunologic levels, uh, also your metabolic and hematologic levels. And then uh, some of those things may help you get pregnant in and of themselves. We do sell some supplements, molecular fertility and nutritional solutions that may help some people depending on how good they are at getting to a mostly animal-based and eating the organ meats. Mm -hmm. Very important, but... Uh, we have people where we'll help work with your clinicians locally, and then you'll fly to one of our centers for IVF or surgery. All these things are possible. Oh, that's good. That's good. So they just go on the website online, and then they can just book a consultation, correct? That's right. You can, you can, go, to, you can go to Amazon and buy some of our books where you can learn for yourself all you need to learn potentially and, and watch our blogs. YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of these things. I do a, a, a morning live, 5 a.m. Syracuse time. What time is it in in, in Nigeria at 5 a.m.? Here. In Kenya, uh, in Kenya, I don't know about Kenya? Nigeria, but in Kenya is around, I think, 3, if I'm not, 3 p.m. In the afternoon. Yep. Right? right? So people, I talk to people around the globe, around the globe, and absolutely. And, and uh, so you start with that. I'll give you advice. What do you want? What do you want to do? Hey, Dr. Kiltz, thanks for all this advice. I'm going to read it. I'm going to change my habits. And if I'm not pregnant in a month or two or three, I'll call you. Or you use this, you go to your local fertility doctor and say, hey, I heard about this immunologic treatments. Can you help me? We do a lot of reproductive immunology. If you think about it, the immune system is why we're alive and why we die. Correct. Right. right? And so the leading cause and damage of our immune system is sugars or glycans. These glycans are foreign particles to our body. See, our body sees these glycans from plants and our body says, wait a minute, you're not part of me. Get out of here. It, the immune system sits up and damages everything in our body. And for some people, it damages their eyes, their skin, their heart, their kidneys, their liver, their lungs, and some people, their reproductive organs. And so all of our stuff is free of charge. You just got to start doing the research and go to our website, CNY Fertility Center, cnyfertility.com or drkilts.com. Lots of information there. Oh, thank you so much for that information. Thanks for even being oh. here because I know you have a busy schedule and to be honest, I didn't think you were going to show up. Like I was surprised. Oh my God, what? <laughs> Look, at, I'm, uh, number one, I'm honored to be on with you. Uh, we are all human beings. There's no human being at any level other than like this, okay? All around the globe. Mm. This idea that any of us are any more special, we're all special, is my philosophy. Again, I follow JC every day. I read his words. He helps me. And I... I'm just blessed and honored to be able to share these ideas. As a physician, I can see only so many people in the day go at the office. And these modalities that I share with people around the globe and yourself sharing this to, to women in all over the globe, because in my opinion, again, reproduction is the most important thing. Children are more important than, than adults. Sorry. And, and, but we have to have, healthy, intelligent. I'm going to use the word smart and intelligent. That's not something you learn in school, by the way. Mm -hmm. That's something you're, you, you work on to develop over your experience of life. But it's also, I believe, harmed based on our lifestyle, our diet. 
that we live in. And so we can make those changes and improve for all of us. As people are postponing having children. Yeah, they can't afford it. Well, but ultimately, <laughs> but ultimately, when we say we can't afford it, what do we create? That we can't afford it. But how many people that don't have much money in the world have plenty of children and they're happy as can be? But I feel like in Africa, they have a lot of kids. They have like eight, they have 10 over there because childcare is cheap over there. Over here, I'm paying a thousand a month per child just for daycare. And I'm like, what is going on? Because we don't have our village anymore. True. Completely. We don't have a village. There's no one, but, oh, you can't leave your your children with your neighbor to take care of them. They don't have a legal license to be a child care, right? Correct. Like, when do we need a legal license to care for children? It seems like it's the thing we're all born to do. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised when I got here. They're like, you can't, yeah, you have to take them to, bring them to a license. Yeah, provide. I'm like, it's a child. You just feed them and they're fine, you know? <laughs> well, well, that's, you know, we, we're, we're, you know, we try to make everything perfect. And that's maybe part of the problem. You can't make it perfect, but it's too costly. It's too costly. And that's why I think a lot of people are reverting to working at home, doing more blogging, finding other ways to live, learn, and create than, than the old-fashioned way. But, you know, we've been enticed. The hospitals are now paying nurses and, and floating people more money. But that's not sustainable. Look at our economy. It's yeah. completely non-sustainable. They threw a bunch of money at people, and then it's like we lived the good times. It's now it's the lean, challenging times. Yeah. So you got to lean it up. You got to be strong and capable of just getting out there and doing with less. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, I completely agree. I've learned a lot from you today, uh, sharing I, I, with everybody. But yeah, I've learned a lot just for myself. Like I've been implementing certain things in my life, especially with my diet. I eat a lot of carbohydrates. You have no idea. I love carbs. <laughs> so I. Well, we to- all love carbohydrates. Look, at, <laughs> I love carbohydrates. I, I'm not. I mean, I'm no different. Um, I will occasionally have a cookie cake or ice cream that I make. Uh, I really stick to having lots of steak, fatty meat. And the more I stick to that, butter, bacon, eggs, butter, beef, that's it. And and I work to do one meal a day. I might do I might do a snack here or two. And over the holidays, I might have had a few extra cookies. But but I really, 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 really maximize the minimization of that. And the way I do it is I talk about it all the time. I write about it all the time. I blog about it all the time. And and. I live it because I want to be the example. I want to help inspire other people to do. And thanks for doing that. Just sharing your knowledge with everybody else. You know, you don't know how many people well, that are saving out there. You know, it's, it, it, it's, you know, it's fertility care in America is expensive. It is. It and is. And we are currently the least expensive IVF center in America, $39.95. We are likely going to be raising our rates to about forty four to forty nine ninety five because you know it's been really all the prices of everything going up, including our staffing, our supplies, everything's going up. They and- on all of that. Like everything is going up, taxes, everything is going up. Literally, like I don't know where we're headed. And, <laughs> but but we want to maintain that because most IVF is ten thousand plus. You know, we're we're at least uh, half of that. I think is going to be helpful for a lot of people. And we we wow. try to finance as many people as we can. We may have to increase the down payment, but we still want to, and we see people from Africa, uh, from uh, from Europe, from all over the globe that are looking to integrate ideas, Eastern, Western medicine, uh, faith, fitness, facts, science, and spirit, integrate things together. Right. But we have a lot of people doing more natural cycle, IUI and IVF, lower medications really helps a lot. Thanks for doing that, for just making it affordable, oh. you know, uh, for a lot of people, because it means a lot for somebody to actually who didn't conceive before to actually hold a child. It really it's a big deal, especially for women. I don't know about men, but for women, oh. like, it's a big, big deal. It is. It is humongous. As, as you said, the risk of losing your husband uh, your family uh, being shunned is huge around the world. And 
I think we look at these ideas, maybe many people have a baby naturally by simply changing their lifestyle, their thoughts, and also their diet. And, and love and forgiveness is critical for all of us. And God is working in our favor no matter what happens. But we do a lot of laparoscopy where we remove fibroids, endometriosis, ovarian cysts, uh, which we found helps a lot of women. So that's something that a lot of people come to us because of surgery and the need to help in that area. And do you just do cash payment or you can accept like certain insurance? Do you take insurance or it has- We to accept be insurance. Oh, yes. We accept insurance. We accept uh, payment plans. Um, and, and again, we're, we're really working to continue to make it accessible to women all over the globe. But we take care of men and women, male factor, female factor, combined factors. We see single women. Uh, we see everyone. We turn no one away. We do a lot of donor eggs, donor sperm, donor embryos. We're looking for more women of color to donate eggs. There's such a shortage on donor eggs. As women have postponed their childbearing, they're in need of donor eggs. Like with women of color, they don't donate because they don't know they have to. You know, they don't have access to this information that, okay, you can donate eggs. So that's that's another thing. Well, this is really important in, in, in what you're doing is sharing the words and ideas of where can I go? Where can I go? What access do I have? Well, I'm not getting pregnant. Uh, and women in their 30s lose their ovaries quite quite readily, quite often. And so we have to try to save them younger and younger. But if they can't use their own eggs, uh, have finding eggs, getting women of color to donate eggs around the country and the globe, to donate sperm, to donate embryos, and even be a gestational carrier to carry a baby for someone else. I mean, this is God's work, essentially. It is. It actually is. So, yeah, thank you so much for being here today. We've learned a lot, and I'm sure everybody's going to learn a lot from uh, just watching this. Well, I'm always welcome to uh, interested in do. If you come to come on a live and answer questions too, because I think those are really important to do. Uh, but then, like, if you're ready to come on a show, like, hey, why not? We can do a live. Um, that would be really nice too, because then they can ask a question and then get an answer right away. So that that's good. Well, it's 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 good. I think we love the interaction. We love listening to people talk. True. <laughs> and and we're human beings. I mean, we, we that's the part that I think. And women are better at it than men, but but we need to strengthen men, strengthen women, strengthen families. And we have to make it so you don't have to pay all your money for having a baby sure. when you need to focus on the investment in taking care of the children. But I think when people look at what they spend on things that maybe they could put their money to the making baby. Uh, and again, if you could simply change your diet, to have a baby? Yeah. Why That's would huge. you? Why That's, not? Huge. That's huge, you know. Thank you so much for being here today. I'm sure I'll give you a heads up to do a live. And thank you so much. You have no idea how thankful I am. It and might be good to come visit. Yes. And maybe we do a live or something there and just share more of it. Because, again, we see people travel here. We're opening in Sarasota. We're opening Colorado Springs. Uh, we're in Albany and, and Buffalo also. Syracuse is our flagship location where I spend most of my time. Oh. Uh, so just for people. Yeah, to... yeah, yeah, we can do that. Like a uh, live yeah. at the office and show people around. That's a good idea. Okay. I'll give you a heads up. Thank you so much for being here today and have a good evening. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.